not missed it. Oh, hi, I'm Christy with San Bernardino County Regional Parks, and I'm here at Glen Helen Regional Park on a bug hunt. Today, we're searching for damselflies. Do you know what a damselfly is? Well, a damselfly is similar to the more commonly known dragonfly. However, there are a couple of characteristics that will help you tell them apart. First one is their eyes. With a dragonfly, they have wide eyes that travel all the way around their head with them connecting in the middle. With a damselfly, they actually have two separate eyes that sit on either side of their head. The second is their body type. With a damselfly, they're very slender and long in appearance. And with a dragonfly, they often have short and stubby bodies. The last thing to look at is the wings. Now with the wings, both insects have two sets of wings. However, with a dragonfly, the top wing is a little bit smaller than the bottom set of wings. And in a damselfly, all four wings are equal in size. Also, if you see one resting on a flower or a branch, if it's resting with its wings out, it's a dragonfly. If the wings are down by its side, it's a damselfly. Come with me and I'll show you a craft to help you remember the features of a damselfly. Okay, the craft for today is a damselfly puppet. Hopefully you were able to make it by the county museum and pick up your damselfly craft kit. In that craft kit, you should have a wing template, a body template, two googly eyes, a straw, and from home, you'll need to grab a glue stick, a pair of scissors, and a single hole punch. All right, guys, let's get started. First thing you're gonna wanna do to make your damselfly puppet is to grab your templates out of your craft kit. We'll go ahead and start with the wings. So as you can see, these are two sets of wings that lay on top of each other. You're gonna use your scissors and cut all the way around the edge of the template. Okay, so cut all the way around. When you're done, your wings should look like this. Okay, then you're gonna go ahead and set those aside for a moment and move on to the template of the body. Now, when you have that, you're gonna do the same thing with your template, with your body template. You're gonna cut only around the edges of your template so that it becomes a long rectangular like this. Once that's completed, your next step is going to be to fold along these fold these dotted lines here kind of in a fan shape so you're going to go back and forth back and forth so you'll start by folding the first one back so that the circle is still exposed then you'll go forward backwards forward backwards it should fold let's see five times you should fold it okay once everything is folded, you're gonna take your single hole punch and you're gonna stick your hole punch all the way across that accordion fold. Now this part, you might need to get somebody older or an adult to help you because it can be a little bit tough to get that hole punch through. Once your hole is punched, you're gonna remove any of the inside of the hole. Then you're going to take your paper straw and you're gonna push that all the way through every hole so that your body of your damselfly is now on your straw. The next step is to grab the larger piece of the paper and pull it upwards, kind of helping it along so it zigzags across that straw and spreads across like so. The next thing you're gonna do is grab your glue stick and on the back side of your paper template, you're going to, on the very edge, put a little strip of glue right there at the very top. Then what you do is you take that piece, turning your fingers upside down, you're going to curl that piece around the top of your straw making a circle where your straw is on the inside. This right here is forming the top or the head of your damselfly. You're gonna wanna hold it just for a few moments to make sure that that glue sticks nice and strong. Okay, so you can see now that we have a nice 
slender body forming on our damselfly. The next thing we're going to do is add the googly eyes. So by adding the googly eyes, you're going to put some glue on the back of the googly eyes. And remember, with damselflies, their eyes are spaced apart. So you're going to want to go ahead and leave a little bit of space once you're adding your damselfly eyes to the head of your damselfly. Something like that. Okay? And the last step is to make sure to add those wings. So to do this, you're going to take your glue stick and right down the middle of your wings, you're going to do three or four different uh, swoops up and down with the glue. Then lay your wings flat on the table, take the back side of your damselfly body, place it right there on top of the wings and press down to make sure that that glue adheres to the body of your damselfly. Then, voila, you have yourself a beautiful damselfly puppet that you can play with all day long. Okay, and don't forget to come out to your San Bernardino County Regional Parks and enjoy your very own bug hunt. Thanks, we'll see you next time.